one. Hey y'all, Jane Pompey back with another message for the collective. Thank you guys so much for all the continued love and support. And I do appreciate you. Listen, this bitch is salty. Kendrick Lamar dropped today, okay? Somebody is a salt or sugar. Spirit said, put salt in the motherfucking wound, bitch. Put salt in that motherfucker, and that's what's coming towards you. It's somebody who's going to act like they really sweet, but they salty as a motherfucker. Looks can be deceiving. Turn his TV off. Turn his TV off. Yeah, no, bitch. Put salt in the motherfucking wound, bitch. Because let me tell you, this bitch that wanted to put you under a spiritual attack, what they thought this was, ho? What a whole plan with? I don't understand. What did a whole think it was? What did a whole think it was? Because they're very insecure within their own self. What they wanted you to be insecure. That's not how it works with a betrayal ass. With a backstabbing, dirty foot ass bitch. What? Here's the thing. I'm not even going to go there. So this is a person who wanted you to be on a constant spiritual attack, bitch. And that's why they salty as shit. The truth is, be careful that they, they both look the same. This is a motherfucker who's really trying to act like they're so cool. So this and this and that. Like, bruh, what is you talking about? Bruh. Girl. Who is this salty motherfucker? Matter of fact, go ahead. Who is this? This bitch is salty. They act like they so rich and they so fucking happy. They act like they're so fucking happy for you. But they is in gloomy motherfucking thoughts, bitch. This bitch is in gloomy thoughts. You can't think straight. Well, because you a dirty bitch. That's why. Pessimistic, bleak, and doubtful, bitch. I don't care. Because you dirty and you should never fucking try it. You, you playing too much with your gloomy ass. 33 could be significant. It's not cute. March the 3rd as well. Who is this? Who... This person is obsessed with you. They are obsessed. So, okay, let me explain the um, salt in the wound thing. Because I was explaining that over on TikTok, but not over here on my YT. Listen to me. Spirit said, this person has obtained this wound by attacking you. So, put salt in the wound. They're going to come to you. This person's going to come to you with all sad thoughts and calling you. And I don't know what to do. And blah, 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 blah. And da, 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 da. And be like, I don't got nothing for you. Put salt in the motherfucking wound because understand they got this fucking with you. And that's their own fault. And I don't feel bad for them. It is what it is. I don't give a fuck. Why should I give a fuck? Why should you give a fuck? Because if it was up to them, they would have stopped everything for this rich lady. They would have stopped everything for you. They see your position. They feel like you don't deserve it in your job, in your relationship, in your family life, in your government, whatever the case may be. Okay, well, if they were so doubtful, they go go and get you, go skip your merry happy ass out up the street. You thought you were so cute. You thought that they thought that if they followed this shit to the T, they'll be able to destiny swap with you. Huh? So, I don't give a fuck. Why should you care? That's what I want to know. Like, why should I give a damn? I don't give a fuck. Why would I give a fuck? Explain that to me. All right, let's see. Mm. Mm. All right, so let's see what's coming towards you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank y'all for all the continued love support. Thank you for the donations. I am still doing um, donation-based readings, personal readings, okay? Let's see. What's the energy coming towards you? An independent thinker. Okay, go ahead and fall out for me. Black diaspora. Okay, so somebody of the black diaspora is an independent thinker here and they want to come towards you. Now they want to know what it is that you think. So this is the person who figured out like, oh my gosh, this, they, they figured out, oh my gosh, the collective has their own mind. Oh shit, bitch. I should have never done this shit. You think they'll heal me? You think they'll help me? You think they'll help me get this position? You think they'll help me get my man, my, my girl back? No. Why the fuck would I do that? Look at that. They said, you gonna bring in generational wealth and miracles? Now, why the fuck would I do that? The fuck is you talking about? Let me see. Okay, I need y'all some friends. You should ask them, are you okay? You're not okay. No, you're absolutely not okay. This person thought that, look at the culture vulture. You see what I'm saying? Hi, Drake. Tell Drake to turn his TV off. Turn his TV off. Somebody is a culture vulture here. Okay. So, uh -huh. 
the energy is the black that it's black culture i don't know why these keep coming out black culture specifically keep coming out for me all night um but bitch the interference is this motherfucking culture vulture that's why they had to get snipped the fuck out they had to get snipped out kendrick kendrick lamar dropped it don't nothing else matters well there we go i can't make this shit up black american culture spirits of the lands black people said it's motherfucking tired bitch also, black people are tired of being excluded from the Native American conversations. I don't give a fuck who's mad. Why do I, why should I care? You should ask them that. Why the fuck should you care? Why should you care? Like, this is a really good place for you guys to be in, okay? We got this black American culture spirit of the land. So mm, this is about to be very deep. And if they don't want to see you winning, you've got to tell them to turn their TV off. Because bitch, you're everywhere. And what I'm getting from turn your TV off is also turn your receptors off because, bitch, I'm in the spirit too. Like, I'm meaning you guys. This is very deep. You guys have a lot of connection to the spirit of the land. And this is getting causing someone to have a closer connection to the Black American culture. I feel like the Black American culture is such a deep uh, situation. Like, it's ever growing. And I just feel like whoever this is watching this, bitch, you got these people sad, bitch. And they should have never tried to steal from you. Even if it's not just, I don't know if this person is black, if you're black, I don't know, bitch. But all I know is black American culture is all through here. This is giving me hoodoo. This is giving me fight. This is giving me civil rights movement. This is giving me a whole bunch of stuff. I was looking at Fannie Lou, um, Mrs. Fannie Lou Hamer last night. And, you know, it reminded me of the fact that, like, you know, um, sharecroppers were just like slaves. Like, you know, I think a lot of black people and native people, I guess, are just sick of letting people rewrite their history. And so even if it's not just that deep, this could be very abstract for you guys. Remember this collective reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. A lot of this is going to be past energy trying to seep in right now. Trust me. And it's okay. It's okay to listen to what the fuck they got going on because they tried you and put salt in their motherfucking wound, right? Because they wanted to be mutable in the background. They thought you was never going to find out. But anyway, bitch, so... They're sick and tired of being sick and tired. It's just like, they're, they're tired of people rewriting their history. People are tired of just, anyway, I'm gonna let spirit tell the, tell the energy. Let there be light. So always remember, let there be light. This is a prime example of stick to your wits and keep to the, keep to the plan. Like, it's just so funny. There's a lot that I wanna say, that, like people what I'm not saying. Think about the fact that Kendrick Lamar is going to the Super Bowl halftime. Kendrick Lamar, amazing, okay? But I'm more talking about the energy he's bringing. He is so, they're not like, they're not ready. Like, and he's making them get ready. And I fucking love that. Everybody who's in the conscious community, I don't even like to use that word, but if anybody who is in this type of energy, like people like us, we're winning. Like. If Kendrick Lamar being at the halftime show paired with and mixed with the album he just dropped today without telling anyone, he just randomly dropped it like Beyonce. That's power, okay? For him to speak about the things that he's speaking about, we're winning. I mean, what Cat Williams said at the beginning of the year is fucking true. Like, I don't really have much to say. So these people are running scared. They're running back to you. They want you to forgive them. But this is a culture vulture who had a chance to make it right. Even if it's not someone with the black diaspora, because like I said, it's gonna be a lot of people watching this reading. Whoever this person is, they need to they need to stop appropriating practices. Cause I've seen people trying to appropriate Hecate, different pagan practices, all of that. And I just feel like enough is enough, bitch. And you know, with the black diaspora, you know the black mama is gonna whoop you for being bad. You know, this is giving me tough love as well. It's a lot going on here. Three uh pentacles here. Somebody is being put in the dirt. Um, somebody wants, they want to work with you and they want to understand you better. But they have to get, they have to do shadow work first and understand why they're so salty. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to help these people if they're so salty? Okay, well, this is, this, you're being recognized for you, for what you got going on. Um, mm, let's do... Yeah, the energy is of the black diaspora. The energy is, 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 tell me about the current situation, obstacle and advice. Three, current situation. Two, coming towards them. Uh-uh, hold on. 
Yeah, look at this Queen of Cups. So somebody's very emotional about this. With this Ace of Swords. Oh my gosh. So they they really want to put their heart on. Somebody put their heart on the line. And somebody used their heart space to overcome these battles and these mental fucking attacks. Like, this is a very clear energy. It's like Kendrick Lamar. I'm sorry. I have to give him his props. It's like he did a, a clearing. I can't speak for him because I don't know him personally. But it's just like, it feels like him. He did a clearing, like a, like a floor wash. Like, you know, literally, that's what it feels like. It's like he cleared the roads for us. Like, that shit is crazy. Look at that. Queen. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody had to pay the toll. And it's giving me that Kendrick Lamar and energies like him paid the toll. Energies like us paid the toll. You understand what I'm saying? It's not the time to be um, unsure of yourself. There's no reason for you to overprove anything. I don't like... Yeah, because... Okay. I want to be very clear with this culture vulture here that's on the table. That person that was like appropriating and trying to like appropriate in any way, like that shit is cleared out. Like it's it's ran its time up. And so it's like you're gonna feel good about how you how you move, put it like that. Because this person was trying to make you over explain, like overdo it, da 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 da, da so they could drain your energy and like use it for their own self, you know like vampiric but like it didn't it didn't work you guys are just at a whole new situation i mean these bitches are about to go to the crazy house okay i feel like somebody's in jail for some of you guys this person didn't they did this all for money the difference between you and this person whoever i'm talking about here is that you do this from the heart like this is really part of your plans part of your um your vision part of your progression to the most high and these people do it for money I love money. There's nothing wrong with money. But what I'm saying is these people are only motivated by money. They don't have an actual calling or they're not actually good at this. This is a person who might have a master's degree but really can't do the job, like that sort of thing. But you're actually passionate about it. Bitch, they wanted you to be unsure. They wanted you to keep juggling too many situations. But the time has come now to where they have to make a decision. You had to make a decision and you always stood on business. So why can't they make their own decisions? Oh, that's right, because they were used to your energy being the one that funded them. Well, uh, news flash. Do you see her anywhere? You're not gonna. Mm -hmm. This bitch is going outside. Now they want your help. This is a all money, though. Even this motherfucking reading it's still money 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 like bitch you can't compare this motherfucking pentacles to the spirit bitches you motherfucking crazy this is called anointed airlines are you crazy you know i'm chilling today because i'm relaxing you know i'm chilling you know it's i don't know what time it is i you know pulled me all night or something i'm relaxing but baby the energy is big i've been over here oh i'm just not gonna go there but this is a prime example of just because you're quiet or just because you don't announce what you have going on doesn't mean it's not happening. This is someone who's very involved with capitalistic tendencies and they're very scared and nervous about you because like I said, they were really trying to push you to a point where you cared more about the money. And you know, don't get me wrong. It's hard, especially when you need to pay your bills and things like that. But whatever you're doing here, whatever you did here, you're nice. Like it's giving you pass the test and this bitch is unemployed, overthinking, self-sabotaging themselves and they want to be you so bad. They don't understand how the black people or how they don't understand how black people can over overcome this. Honestly, they just don't understand. They're like, my partner and I was talking about this last night. These people feel like, damn, we didn't took everything from them, even their bodies. And they still come out on top better than us, like conjure better than us. Their music is better than ours. Everything is just their style, their whole grace, their culture is just still theirs. Wow. What do you think about to happen? Now they want to know how you conjure. Now they want to know how you go to battle. They didn't spend so much time, energy and efforts, trying to battle you and they get their ass tore out the frame like they mama should have did them. Mm -hmm. Okay, they get their ass to out the frame by your spirits, and then they be like, 
what you do? How you do it? Can you show me? Hell no. I can show you how to put this salt in that wound. No, bitch. Get the fuck out my face before I throw you in these abyss waters. I wouldn't feel sorry for this motherfucker. I wouldn't piss on a grave. I wouldn't piss on him if they was on fire. Just what you tell him. Spin around on it. Spin on it, bitch. Okay. All right. So the obstacle is the fact that, yeah, these people wanted you to be unserious about yourself. They didn't think that you were going to be able to juggle this. So this this is what the this is what the um, the working was because this person did work on you. A lot of you guys, this person went to the graveyard. I'm just going to be real, real and honest with you guys. Um, but this was this is I felt a lot of energy for the past couple months about necromancy. Okay, they didn't have to go to the graveyard on you, but this is someone who took it too far. Like they really took it too far um they took it too far in order to like work against you so this person did work on you guys whether it be physical work or just mental magic but they did some sort of work on you guys plotting and scheming to make you doubt yourself and be unsure by putting a lot of things on you so like okay for example if you're trying to start this business right let's say you want to start a business or let's say you want to start the family you want to start a family relationship whatever the case may be right this person conjured up work like spiritual work in order for you to have too many things on your plate so that you can't focus on the business or the job or the relationship or the children okay but the spirits of the land are helping you out here. The outcome is that the black American culture is coming out on top and they are combined with the spirits of the land because guess what? A lot of them are indigenous. There's a lot of indigenous blood in the black American culture. I'm not here to fight with anybody because I quite frankly don't give a fuck. I don't care what anybody thinks. But I know my black people here know what the fuck I'm talking about. And a lot of times, whatever the case may be with you guys, with whatever we're dealing with right here not just that but everything it's like people are tired of having to shut up like we're not doing that anymore you guys are like i'm not like whatever this is you guys overcame a, a serious battle and you need to strut your stuff and do your motherfucking uh victory lap also because you have to understand that the most high god deserves the glory you got to give god the glory so when they try to make you humble and make you be quiet it's like why for what i earned it didn't it this is my shit, right? Okay. Who gonna check me? That's what I wanna know. Who gonna check you? Nobody. If you know you are in this spot and you know this is yours, who gonna check you? See, because when people have not been where you're going collective, there's no way that they can guide you. That's no shade, no tea. But you know, they're supposed to doubt you. Like, that's their job. So what do you give a fuck for? They've been telling black people they're not Native American since the beginning of time. What do we give? I mean, like, what do we give a fuck for? Why are we supposed to care? Native Americans were marked as Negro during the slave time. Like, I'm not, like, you don't have to school people on anything. You're done with that. You're like, I don't have to prove myself to anyone. When it comes to this position, whatever this is in your life, You've worked hard for this. You don't have to prove it just because they don't understand it. You don't have to prove anything. You know what I'm trying to say? It's, I just heard hit me and can't the fuck fight. Yeah. King of Wands. This person definitely has their eye on you. And the advice is for you to cast a spell and keep your eye on the situation. Okay. Let's see. Give me the advice, advice, please. Thank you. I'm watching. Drop it on the table. Thank you. Yep. Five of Pentacles. Starve them out. Yeah. Not, not a time to be nice. Spirit's telling you to starve them out. Somebody is going to be put in the dirt here. Now, obviously, consult with your spirit guides, but leave them out. Don't give them anything, any part of you. Don't share this culture with you with them. Don't share your, don't share anything. Like seriously, 
especially you guys who are conjurers or if you're doing any sort of spiritual work i wouldn't tell these motherfuckers a thing okay you're sitting in the queen of uh pentacles energy capricorn Taurus, and virgo this bitch is so girl i'm telling you right now they're they they're terrified of you just so you know because they know what they threw at you the devil come on now they know they threw the devil at you they know that and they are terrified they're they're going through a lot of losses here clarify queen down to five please thank you yeah we got the knight of cups here they want to ask you on a date bitch they feel like you're bossed up you're very stable and secure here this person is very stable and secure so maybe you didn't think that they maybe you maybe you didn't think it was them but it's them bitch this is that person you would never believe it's them yeah seven of cups because what do they do send illusion magic what's 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 interfering is the fact that they use dream interpretation dream magic there's a lot of illusions around these two situations like i said like the juggle see that's what i'm trying to say there okay so like for example this will show up as like making you think like oh i gotta work all day i gotta have all these thousand jobs and there's nothing wrong with making money but like they were slick they were slick it's like they sent this to you so you don't have time to focus on what you really got to focus on how do you how are you gonna know what i'm talking about just think back a little bit ago maybe a couple weeks ago or whatever a couple days ago and think like damn what was the intention that i sent to the universe did you tell the universe that you wanted to focus more on the business did you tell the universe that you wanted to make another form of income you know residual income um you know did you tell them that you wanted to start a family you wanted to work on your relationship that you wanted to work on yourself because a lot of you guys it's really you and the most high you're working on shadow work and things like that so if you know that you said that obviously the devil is going to pop up and try to stop you from that he ain't going to tell you oh this is what i'm doing to try to stop you like of course I'm not going to fucking tell you that why would they tell you that shit they've been fucking benefiting off of appropriating you and stealing from you quite literally so the moment that you took your power back they don't know what to do this is what i'm trying to tell you like spirit is like who gives a fuck what do you need uh what do you need like you don't need to literally need this but like what do you need what is it oh my god outside validation for it thank you my bad I told you been up all night but yeah what the fuck you need outside validation for you don't they know the truth. These motherfuckers see your light the moment that you walk in the door, but they don't want you to know that because they don't have, they're, they're jealous and envious because they don't have that within themselves. But they could have it if they did the work, but they don't do, want to do the work. They want to do magic. They want to slander your name and try to steal what's yours, but you can't take what, they can't take what's from the most high God, okay? But yeah, um, so yeah. There's some sort of illusion magic that is interfering. Also, this is someone who's dealing with multiple people. This is definitely somebody who is cheating and having a lot of emotional relationships with other people, trying to spread your business around. This is a dirty bitch. And they're a motherfucking problem. And so this is why Spirit had to get this person up out your life because if you knew that you asked for, you know, things to be clarified and you asked for, thank you guys for the likes, you asked for everything to be cleared out, just like Kendra came and cleared the way, like, you know, it happened. So that's what this feels like. It's a very freeing feeling. Good congratulations. I mean, you, I mean, what do you want me to say? Like, I don't know what they wanted you to say. Like, they tried to bury you. They wanted you to be 10 feet deep. Like, bitch, no. And they tried two times to, to take you out, literally. Why should you give a fuck? I wouldn't give out. Like I said, I wouldn't piss on them if they was burning. That's their problem. They better call their creator, call their boss. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't your fucking problem. Why should I give a fuck? ace of swords and that's true why should i give a fuck it ain't your fucking problem because they at at any moment they would have left you out to dry they did leave you out to dry they tried to leave you and take food about your mouth food about your kid's mouth they tried to take your motherfucking position so why should you give a fuck they don't like that the advice is i don't give a fuck that's what the advice is the advice is I ain't broke, busted, and disgusted. The advice is give them back their, their, their tormented ways. You give them back their five of pentacles energy. They broke, busted, and disgusted energy. That energy that they want you to have, that you don't have, that they have, leave it on them, which is dusty. In the words of share seven, sprinkle, sprinkle. Leave the dusties where they at, bitch. Uh, 
you don't have to ever my baby just told me earlier you don't ever have to apologize for being you you don't have to apologize for having a good heart don't you start apologizing this is what it feels like to have a a victory lap you guys have been keeping your energy clear for so long bitch some of y'all almost tapped out especially when your money ran out bitch and so you probably had to spend a lot of money to, to go to war Mon monetarily energetically whatever the case may be you done lost friends you done lost people whatever the case may be we here baby you made it through so some of y'all just gonna take a motherfucking nap but anyway when you lost all this money when when they when they snatched the rug up under you financially that's when you overcame the battle it's something that happened when you when you weren't included in something whether it be the church some sort of organization but something with your money here or your job your foundation in general they tried to snatch that shit up under you as if that was real but it was fake and then that's how you were able to find the mental stability the mental strength to overcome them because you overcame a battle like there's you're cutting some shit down by speaking your truth and i feel like i don't know if they wanted you to be ashamed of your past or ashamed of where you've been through or ashamed of when you had broke, busted, and disgusted tendencies of some sort of way, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, maybe you didn't always have it, or maybe, whatever the case may be. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter. They thought you was going to be scared to talk about that, but you actually stood on that. You ain't give a fuck, because it's like, oh, well, if I never would have been through what I've been through, I wouldn't be able to overcome this. A lot of times, the spirit will let things happen to us, because they need us to feel the energy up, up front. Like, there's a multiple reasons. They need, this is for your ascension, but what do you, like, some of you guys are like, what do you mean, Jane? It's like, I get it, right? They let this shit happen. They let people leave you out so that, A, you don't bring them with you to the top when you make it. B, you need to be able to feel what this energy feels like up close so nobody can fool you. And three, you need to know that you overcame this battle, like, so you're not scared of that devil. You can take it down quickly, especially if you're the type of person who's lifting other people up. If you're on this reading, this message is for you, of course. And, um, what is this? Oh, I'm getting this puzzle piece. They want to make sure I'm a real human. They said they're unable to verify me. Let's see. Okay, sorry. Anyway, I'm about to get off here anyway. But um, yeah, so when, you know, you had to be able to, to feel it up close so that you can help other people. You can help yourself. You can help your bloodline. And you cannot deal with these dusties no more because you got to know that it's more than just the person. It's more about the spirit that they're dealing with. If you don't deal with that spirit within that person within yourself, you're going to keep running into it. So that's why spirit lets you go through a little bit of financial hardship or they let you go through these hard times with people leaving you out of shit. It is what it is because that's done now. All that was, it was worth it. And you had to let these motherfuckers get cut out your life so that you can move forward. Because a lot of time the spirit wants to bless you. But they cannot bless you when you got certain people around you that don't deserve the blessing. Spirit knows what was being said when you weren't around. But um, yeah, and let it go on record being said, shown and said that spirit is coming to collect, bitch. Anybody who fucking tried the black diaspora, it's, it's a wrap for them. It's a fucking wrap. No more culture vultures no more these people are gloomy they getting smacked up by mother nature they wanted to appropriate the native american culture the black american culture so bad well now they get to feel what it feels like to have a black mama <laughs> black grandmama i'm tired get somebody else to do it okay love you